Are you ready to create some of the best visual 3D text? Well, in a few moments, we'll tap into the new power of After Effects and easily create masterful typography scenes without limits. Let's jump in. After Effects has undergone some of the biggest updates within the past year in regards to 3D, and I'm still finding ways to what can be created, just like I'm finding new ways to not get a haircut. But we're going to break down both of these examples as the techniques are fairly similar. So first, obviously get some text into your project. Monument Extended Ultra Bold is the font and always sounds like a football play, but right click the title, go to create and choose create shapes from text. Boom, shape layer. Now we're going to use the shape layer as a box cutout as we can see here in this example. So grab the rectangle tool and draw a box around the title and this should all be within the same shape layer. Just do your best to center this rectangle. You can use a title safe or magic. It just doesn't matter to center it. Now click on contents so we don't make a mistake. Go to add group. Place all the letters inside of the group. Go back and throw in a merge paths. Set the mode to subtract. The cutout is now done and it's 3D time, baby. Make both of your layers that you have 3D by adding in that cube. Make sure you're using advanced 3D as your renderer. And if you don't have this option, that means your After Effects has been living under a rock. For your shape layer, set the extrusion depth to 400 or any value for future reference. And it looks like we have a 3D brick. We also want to turn our original title back on and set the extrusion to the same amount as the shape layer. And while we're here, set the bevel style to convex. With both layers turned back on, we can't see anything and you know, that's okay. Adjust the Z position of the title so it pops out of the block. Now confidence is not strong, but let's fix that by creating an environment light with cast shadows checked. If we pop the title in and out, seeing the shadows change makes a good difference. Now this is still really bright and we'll fix this all in a moment. But in order for the shadows to work properly, we need this laying flat on a floor. So create a white solid layer, make it 3D, then create a null object, make it 3D, <laughs> then create a camera, the 50 millimeter preset will do, parent everything except for the light to that null object, and set the X rotation to negative 90 degrees. While we're here, lower the Z position of the floor and increase the scale like it's no one's business. So we did all this for one reason, so we can animate or adjust the Y rotation of the light to have the shadows spin correctly around the title. The things we do for the love of motion graphics. Fixing up this light, we have two really good options. If you want to have a reflective chrome look, you can go into the floors and shape layers material options and set the specular intensity and the shininess to 100% and the metal to around 70% and then feel free to animate the Y rotation of the environment light. For those of you that just want a clean look, don't do any of the material options. Instead, import an HDRI into your project, which you can get for free in the description below, and use that as your light map. Feel free to adjust the light intensity as needed. All right, this is looking cool, but what's cooler is that you can crunch down on your animations and save hours of time per project by using our free animation presets. You can select any type of graphic or title, browse a preset, and watch your project come to life in seconds. You can utilize over 10,000 presets by checking the description below. All right, back in this, with the dolly towards cursor tool here at the top, I'll use it to punch into our scene so we're a little closer to the action. And this will be a good opportunity to animate the position of our text to essentially pop in and out of the block. We can alt click the stopwatch and add a loop out ping pong expression to loop this forever. And if you're feeling lucky, we can also animate the X rotation to tilt our title while it's inside of the block. Don't worry about the clipping going on here. We'll sweep it under the rug. But you may need to adjust the Y position of the text to make it fit a little better. But be sure to loop the rotation with some ping pong as well. We can actually colorize the interior of the block by creating a new group inside of the shape layer, place all the objects inside of the group, then select the remaining group, add side, color, and then you can change this color to whatever you like and beautiful. So now we have the ability to duplicate all this. So parent the title to the block or better known as the shape layer, take the shape layer's position, move it over, and repeat this process until you have about nine copies filling up the scene. 
uh, and you have these nice little gaps as well. So very cool this all came together, but we need some camera movement. So add a keyframe for point of interest and position. Use the pan under cursor tool to essentially slide your scene by like this. You can also adjust the Z rotation to tilt your scene. And one thing to keep in mind here is that you should go to renderer options and click fit the scene. And this way your shadows will be applied throughout the entire composition. Overall, this looks really cool and you have the options to stylize your scene and the ability to kind of do whatever you want, which is a great breath of fresh air for After Effects. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.